So now we have the, the, the last piece of major rust to fix on this fan, uh, on this fair, and that's this passenger door. As I said before, it came with much, much deeper skirts uh, on the voter when uh, when I first got it. I've made them a little bit shorter. I said the mini skirt there, I think one quite as long. And this door came with a fiberglass panel that was panelled over it. You may see them yourself if you've got one. And it came right down to here somewhere, just a little extension on the door. It was squared off down here. So I've cut all that off. This is what's revealed, you know, 20 odd years of uh, being exposed. It's pretty gone. And I've got to say, it's quite a it's quite a job, this one here. I'm in two minds whether to do it or uh, to try and get another door. Um, and it's pretty rotten. Let's open it up here on the inside you know it's there it's there but it's uh, it's rotten so this is probably the the last major thing i'm going to have to do in terms of rust and probably the most difficult um, i'm going to have to try and i'm going to try and rebuild this where i can i'll try and guide you through that and not show it's how clever i am but just to show you know it's, it can be done this sort of thing it's a little bit daunting even for me you know i've got quite a bit of repair to do here but let's have a go at it uh, we'll fabricate bits of it ourselves i've got an outer skin to put on there which came from the usual sources uh, and we'll see what we can build if we can build it up and make it somewhere reasonable so uh, stay tuned as they say so the first thing we've got to do is cut off the old we've got to cut out all this old rot all the bits that are broken broken away here you know uh if you want to play over that i'm going to cut it out and make a kind of butt weld uh, up to the existing good metal wherever I can then make good the outer skin I've got an outer skin for it ah. um, which should you act as a good template a good gauge as to where everything should go so we're going to cut off this section this section here under there possibly I'm not sure until I start doing it uh, until we've got good metal just so I can make a, a template or a, a bit of something to go back on there and that'll give us a good space which to build the underneath and undersides to, to uh, fabricate and then uh, hopefully put the skin on over the top on the other side. Oh, what should I do? Uh, on the other side. That's what, that's what I'm planning on anyway. As I say it's not it's not an easy job for an amateur like myself, but uh, we'll give it a try. See if we can save it. Worst case, I'll just buy another door for it. You know, they're expensive, but you know, not the end of the world if I completely destroy it. I'll just get another door from somewhere. So a bit of angle grinding later, and this is the bit I've cut off. You can see it's the bottom of the door. So I've cut around where. Uh, I've cut back to where the steel is good on the door, so that's got something to weld to. You can't weld to rust, obviously. So cut a square out of that, out the back of that, uh, and I cut the front off as well. I'm going to place the whole panel on the front, so I'm not going to. I'm going to focus right. I'm not going to make this bit uh, just yet because that's an outer panel. That's a much bigger piece. So what I've got to try and make is this section here. This section here. I've got to try and fabricate that. Um, there's some vent holes underneath here. Looks like there were three of them. It's just right away actually looking at that it doesn't look that great does it um, and i've also got the driver's door to look at to to compare as a pattern but so uh, let's see how we got and i've got a piece of steel over here which i used to i made the floor with so we're going to use that to try and make uh, a replacement section out of this thing so coming along now yeah i've made some individual pieces i made up some uh, some templates with cardboard use a bit of an old, an old birthday card mrs had a birthday the other day so yeah bits of angle uh using my angle bender bits and pieces putting it together just slowly assembling it and uh yeah there you go then all welded on it's uh it's uh, not perfect you know but you know i'm not a, i'm not a perfectionist most of the time nor am i professional but uh, it's you know it's in one piece so you know a bit of scabby welding here and there but it's welded on both sides as well so i'm quite happy with that I'm quite happy. It's even the cost of a new door, doesn't it? So, um, you know, if it falls off in six months' time, I could say, at least I can say I tried to. Let's uh, get the outer skin on. We'll paint up the inside of it just to make it nice and insulated. Make some holes, drain holes underneath here, because water has to drain out of this door. Um, so we might go rusty. And uh, then we'll get it painted up and see how it looks. So moving on to some stills then, um, it's a little bit easier, probably too lazy to pick up the camera and start filming it. So this is the piece I made uh, out of a piece of metal, you saw me do that in the videos uh, just now. Um, and that's the outer door skin there. I took some more off, I've still yet more to come off of here. Uh, I actually take it right back to this top lip up here to uh, so I can slip the new one underneath that, show you that in a second. This is the back of that door, as you can see we've got some good metal here. I was quite happy with that, I was able to grind back some of the... the uh, paint there call it paint whatever they want to call it 
uh, that's the other side of it. You can see the extent to which I cut off. It looked really bad actually when I was first doing this, but looking at that, yeah, actually it wasn't it wasn't that bad. I was cut the bottom off. Obviously, can't leave it like that. And uh, that's it. I think I've showed it welded on. That's me just putting the old good old red oxide on it. Uh, just to protect it a little bit more, but loads of coats of stuff on the inside, the outside, you know, because water does run down inside these doors uh, from the quarter lights above and obviously from the windows themselves. So protect them as much as you can. So on the inside as well, a uh, good coat of under two inside there. You can see a drain hole I've made to let the water out of it. These these slots are for the uh, document holder or thing that goes inside the door there. Uh, next one was, yeah, this is the problem. The, the new outer panel was too big for the door. Um, and what I did was I cut the old panel off right up to this lip up here, like the top fold with the intention of welding in that gap there, get a nice thick weld in that join there and then filling over it. But when I offered the panel up, um, there's a five mil difference. It was just too big. It's quite not uncommon for these pattern parts to do that. Uh, maybe I should have got a, um, a genuine one if you can get such a thing but these well they're not cheap you can see there how much bigger it was it's bigger at the front by a couple of mil which i can get away with but at the back it was sticking out and the door wouldn't have shut if i'd have fitted it on there so i don't know if you fitted one of these i did think oh maybe it should go higher maybe that lip should be up here of a five mil higher but it made no difference to the to the gap here uh, and besides it was out of alignment along the bottom edge so uh, definitely too big so a bit of modification i had to do there i had to cut it and bend it over again uh, which wasn't perfect you see i've done it there it wasn't perfect but it did fit that's my welding again i've sort of spot welded it with the old puddle welded it with the welder on there um and then just ground it off again with a, pat, a flat wheel on the angle grinder down there um and the rest of it you fold over fold and actually glued it glued and folded it um over to uh that's the lip on the inside there I had a picture of that. That's it. a bit of filler on there. That's what it looks like, or looks like. Uh, yeah, quite acceptable. That's okay. But it was, like I said before, you know, if it falls off in six months, I'll get another door. But at least I've saved it for this time and saved myself a few quid. Because uh, I'm saying they're not cheap at all. And again, trimmed it all off with a bit of bit of trim, bit of fiberglass, you know, just uh, off cuts that I had, made it look a little bit nicer. And that's it now, you know, not perfect. I'm not going to say I'm brilliant at bodywork, but you know, I, I've done a bit. I'm not going to tell you how I sprayed this vehicle. It's it's three colours, um, but you know, I'm, I'm happy enough with it. So there we have it in a rust free Vario. It took a little while, took a bit of a journey, didn't it? We went from winter through to summer, replaced lots of panels, uh, taught ourselves a few things. And uh, now I have a rust free Vario, which is uh, quite a rare thing apparently these days. Um, so that, with that over with, it's now time to move on to the exciting stuff and the things inside uh, and uh, get some of that good stuff going. But before then, I'm going to, as I said, the very beginning of this series of videos, I'm going to um, use it as a day van for a little while. I'm not going to convert it to a camper just yet. I've done some things on the inside, which I'll probably show you in the next video. Uh, a couple of little bits and pieces, but uh, if you've enjoyed the series on how to get rid of the old tin worm from your Vario, then you know, give me a thumbs up or whatever, whatever you need to do. Um, uh, but I do enjoy your comments. If you, if you find it interesting, then say so. If you don't, then say so. Criticize or whatever. You know, I've, I've done what I can do. So uh, thanks for watching this series, and uh, see you on the next one.